Namaste and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the water element. I'll be starting with a quote by Leonardo da Vinci, which says, water is the driving force of all nature. Like I said in my previous video, what makes nature makes us, what makes us makes nature. We're all made of the same elements. Now, the first quality I will be talking about is the life-giving quality of water. Remember that we're all born after spending the first nine months of our life in water. So water carries life force. It nurtures life. And something that my mom used to say when I was growing up was, whenever serving water or giving water to anybody, do it with love. Do it with good intentions because it is a divine act. I didn't quite understand it at that time, but now I definitely do. So this is the first practice we can implement in our day-to-day -day life. Whenever you're drinking water or you're offering water to anybody, do it with love, do it with good intentions and respect water. Water gives life, so it definitely deserves our respect. So preserve, respect water and don't waste water. Okay, simple. We can all do this. Second quality I'm going to talk about is memory. 75 to 78 percent of our body is made up of water. Our brain also is made up of mostly water. Now what is one of the major functions of our brain? Storing information, memory. Now it has been scientifically proven that crystals of water that had been kept in a positive environment with positive vibrations, healing sounds, pleasant sounds, uh, prayer, mantras, looked very different from the crystals of the same water that was kept in an environment of chaos, of unpleasant sounds, of um, negativity. So that clearly says that water is a transport or, or a vehicle uh, for information, memory. It stores memory. Now, through the entire journey of water it, th that it takes, um, it will collect information. It will collect emotions. It will collect vibrations. So when it comes to you, it already has information and memory. So the second thing that you can implement in your life is whenever you're taking in anything, be it a, a juicy fruit that has water or a beverage from a, a coffee shop or just water from the tap or from a bottle, put in your positive intentions. Put in intentions that you want to grow within you, within your being. Okay, because remember, anything that you take in, whether it's food, beverages, thoughts, anything that you see becomes you. So you want to take a second to put in positivity, positive intentions um, before taking in that water or that uh, beverage. Okay, that is the second thing you can implement in your life. Third quality I'm going to talk about is patience and reshaping. Now water has that power, that strength with patience to reshape some of the strongest structures um, around the world like mountains and other landscapes so patiently carves rocks um, along its journey now if you've seen uh, roofs uh, in places where it rains a lot the droplets that fall from those uh, some point of the roof um, makes holes or even cracks in cement on the floor so that is how it's, it kind of, with patient, reshapes and restructures um, structures um, around. Now this is one quality that we can tap into. How can we do that? Through situations that we um, encounter in our life, we have the choice to flow, go with the flow with more ease, with more peace by tapping into this energy of the water okay um, flowing through situations with ease with peace is something that we will be able to do uh, a little more easily if we tap into this quality of water and how can we do this by um, finding that softness that fluidity through movement through our body okay it can be a form of dance 
it can be a yoga flow on the mat and the way you do this is to pay attention to the transitions okay we're not just moving from one posture to another in a, in a yoga sequence even the transitions have to be fluid find that fluidity between each posture okay and then you cultivate a sense of love towards your body in these transitions in these movements and that'll have a ripple effect in any other relationship uh, that you have throughout the day okay so that is one thing that you can implement in your life now the last point that i'm going to talk about is our breath now just like water which is a cycle okay the journey of water is a cycle it rises up from the earth and then rains back down onto the surface of the world it is taken in by by plants and by trees um, and it becomes the water in fruits for example and then it comes back into our body so this fluidity of the cycle is something that we can tap into through our breath notice how we all breathe when we're stressed it's very shallow breaths very rough edges to our um, inhalations and to our ex uh, exhalations so taking a second to do some breath work and finding fluidity in that uh, breath through our inhales through our exhales is another practice that we can implement so whenever you're taking your breath imagine it like a circle inhalation being one half of the circle exhalation being the second half of the circle and notice if there are any rough edges and then try to smoothen them out so even the air that we breathe has water water resonates throughout our being okay so that is another practice that you can do take a second to find fluidity in your breath taking in nice and deep breaths in and out without straining finding that fluidity will help you connect to the water element nice so all of this being said um, fluidity calmness um, are very good qualities of water however it is important to understand that water can also be destructive and very very strong this this kind of explains to us that uh, water which is related to our emotions um, has different levels it can be very intense it can be very mild so this helps us to understand that um, by tapping into this quality of water it's up to us to navigate through this, these changes of our emotions with more fluidity, with more acceptance, okay? To find more ease and peace through these uh, waves of emotions that we might go through in a day, in an hour even, okay? So tap into this quality of uh, waves of fluidity and navigate through these emotions a little more with peace. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I hope you will be implementing these um, little practices in your day-to-day -day life and tune into that water element within you, within your being. Thank you so much for joining. I will be posting a video with a yoga flow that you can practice and that will help you to connect to this water element. Thank you once again. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.